Welcome back everybody, this is your boy Penny Dan and today we're going to be doing a video. This video is a, not a locomotive review, it's actually something to do with a locomotive actually, but not a locomotive. Uh, before I do the review, I'd like to say that I'm sincerely sorry that I haven't been on YouTube for two weeks I think. The reason why that's, um, that's the case is because uh, I've been doing loads of work, we've got one van coming in which is a bit of a naked van and, well, sorry, excuse my French, but it is not in a very good condition and we've got uh, two months to do it and that's how bad it is. So yes, I have got quite a lot to do, but uh, now I have got a chance to do a video. So this video is something that I'm meant to do, meant to do for quite a long time. So yeah, and this um, review is a airbrush review. Yes, I understand that this is not the first video on YouTube about the airbrush. There is a few uh, videos uh, about airbrushes. I think there's a few different companies like Badger and all those other companies, Badger is the main one that I, um, I know, but this airbrush, I do not know what this airbrush is, I think this is a starter airbrush, and if I just put it down for a sec and bring something over where I got this from, uh, I think it might be uh, this one, this is from Finishing t um, Touches, and as, as you can see it's got uh, Saxons or whatever they're called and Manolite. If we go to the last page, as you can see there's two different types of airbrushes. This is my one and this is the other one that I don't like so much. So uh, I'll, I'll actually I'll tell you the difference between this one and my one. But uh, if you want to order uh, some of these or if you want to call them up and see what they've got, they've got pow um, weathering powders, paints, and m lights, and all that. And if you want, and uh, uh, compressors, sorry, or compressors. And uh, if you want to find out uh, where this is from, pause the video right now and uh, just go to this address. And, te and there's a telephone number down there, and there's a mobile number, and you can either even email them if I just bring it up closer you can see them much better uh, so yeah uh, the, the this is not a uh, big company name this is uh, they I found this from a model railway show show sorry uh, it was from South End and I found this stall stalled I was meant to buy an airbrush but I didn't have enough money to uh, well I did have quite a lot of money but I didn't have enough money to buy this the compressor and the hose together actually saying that uh, if you want to buy the whole kit the airbrush the compressor and the one um, and the hose you can um, is 80 pounds which is a good deal so that means that this um, you can choose any of these airbrushes you can choose the one that I don't have and or the one that I do have I recommend this one because it's better um, and the compressor is uh, 60 pounds and the, these are 20 pounds if you're good at maths that is 80 pounds so you get one hose one air hose a hose free so that's quite a good deal so I well I do have the money but I uh, I, all I need is the compressor and the air hose, that's all, and a few, probably the weapon powders. But yeah, go on with the, um, go and um, go and call them up, and they'll and uh, they'll do a great deal on everything. I think um, because I didn't. I uh, actually, that's the thing I was meant to tell you. This was a birthday present. If you remember on my birthday update, this was a birthday present. And I asked my mum and dad uh, if, if they can tell me how easy it is to order a... Go, well, they, they order this. So I said, how, how easy was it to order this? And they said it was very easy and, the and it was the next day delivery. So 
hopefully with the compressor I will get um, the compressor and the hose and a few other bits that will come next the next day I haven't ordered it yet but uh, I have do I do have the money so that's going to be the next thing on my checklist so yep uh, let's open her up and see what she is like it's um, like um, just a plain box with a lid a plastic thing which keeps it safe and that's it uh, it's got quite a nice foam in size but nothing special uh, what you get in it or well parts is you got this sucker thing where you um, put in paint suck it up put it in the pot which is this and you can just drop it in and put um, collect some thinners and all there and this is the thing that I do not get why is there a spanner in there? Is this a spare tool to do something inside or is it something to do on the outside? Comment below if you do have one of these airbrush airbrushes or if if you got one but you do not you don't have a tool but you've got a tool, please tell me and um, what this is for is this for the outside uh, or is it for the inside and what does it actually do that's the thing that I don't get about that spanner so yep yeah, I finally got those two little bits in here and the main bit the way I get this airbrush out is get, um, pinch this end gently put it out or take it out just watch the lid because that see it comes out very easily very easily I'm just going to put that down for the moment, it's quite tight in here. There we go, it is out, and there she is without the lid. <laughs> I've gone back to the lid. There we are. Uh, the reason why I prefer this one is because this is a anti gravity, uh, I think it's called there, um, airbrush, and I heard that it's much better than the ones where you've got the pot underneath. That's why I said in here to not buy the other one because it is not that good because my mates one, well one of my mates uh, has the other one and he said it is really bad when it runs out well becomes running out of paint because it splutters and makes the weathering look terrible so uh, I'd rather um, prefer this but it's your choice it's your choice you can either, you can prefer the one on the bottom or the one on top with the pots so it's your choice but I prefer this one and another thing that I like about this airbrush is that as you can see here is a um, I did have a name uh, for this but uh, I can't remember it now uh, it's, it's sort of like a throw thing where you uh, press, it, press it down nothing comes out except for air and the um, slower you put it back the slower the paint comes out and if you go all the way back, the paint comes, all all the paint will come out. Well, not all of it, but like the full brunt of the paint will come out. So if you want to do light weathering, you'll put it very low, where only more more air and less paint comes out. But if you want heavy weathering, you put it all the way back, and more paint will come out and less air coming out as well. Uh, I understand that this is where you connect the hose from. I do not know what this is for. Comment below if you know what this is for. Is this to adjust your paint or so that or your uh, spray abilities? I do not know, but please, oh, please uh, comment below. That fell down again. As you can see, it's very nice and shiny as well. Look, you can see the camera. You can see the camera. <laughs> and um, here's the. This is where you put your paint. I think you put your thinners in first, then the paint. And what you do is how you well, I've seen it. How you mix it up is you put all the paint in and you shake it like that, and it mixes all the thinners and all that in size. And as you can see there, there is a wire. I think this is for. Uh, as you can see, is not. I don't think it's moving when I'm moving this uh, lever thing. So probably. Is for the uh, air air flow thing or the um, air hose. Sorry. So yeah, 
uh, as you can see it is actually very nice and shiny so very nice very nice addition and uh, the things that some people do not like about is uh, the handling do, some of them do not know how to handle it the way I'll usually handle it is hold the um, if I had the hose hold it like that because I have actually used a air hose before because, and the air hose sometimes does come out because of the pressure and what you do is that you hold it like that to hold the uh, hose and use your thumb to uh, uh, just had the word again um, the flow of the paint coming out so but it will make it easier for you to paint and it will give you a great um, a great oh god damn it I keep on forgetting the damn words uh, it will give you great weathering or respray so yeah uh, I'm going to just put this down for a moment and as you can see on the bottom of the packaging the lid came out, out again there is some instructions oh there's more fun in there and this this is for like if yours breaks and you know what it is you can order some of the parts and all that I think, I think that, that that's the name Mod, uh, model BD airbrush ah I never knew that well that that's the name of it anyway um, but yeah that, that there's all the parts as you can see that's the inside for all the parts, um, that's the inside part, and this is all the outside. So if you lose something, like if someone unscrews something and they lose it, you can or they can order parts for you. So yeah, that's a nice thing that I like because they give you some um, tips as well how to weather and all that and how to um, clean it and all that. So yes, uh, I haven't even used it. For, well, I never, I haven't even used it yet. I just need to get the compressor and the air hose and some paint, and I'll start weathering. So, thanks, guys, for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and please subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. I might do a layout update. I might do a review. I haven't decided yet, but uh, I hope to see you soon. Anyway, so uh, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you later on. Goodbye.